What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to blur out moving objects in Premiere Pro. So as you can see on screen I have the raw footage of the video you saw at the start and this is me just walking. Now it's really simple to do and we're not going to add this blur directly onto the video. Instead we're going to come to our project, right click, select new item and select adjustment layer. From there, make sure the width, height, and time base matches your video. Once everything's good, select OK. Now drag and drop this above your video and stretch it out for the duration you want this to occur. The next thing we're going to be doing is coming to the Effects tab and from here we're coming to Video Effects and we're coming to Blur and Sharpen and we're coming to Gaussian Blur. Drag and drop this onto the Adjustment layer. Now, selecting your adjustment layer and in the effects controls, if you come down, you should see Gaussian Blur. Now, from there, you can see we have an ellipse mask, which is basically a circle. We have a square mask and we have a pen tool. Now, what the pen tool is, it's basically a custom mask. So you can see you can draw out any specific shape you may require. And you do need to link everything back up in order to create a mask. Now you can also come back here and just delete it. Now for me, I'm just going to be focusing on blurring the face. Really simple to do this is just the ellipse. So I'm going to select this. As you can see, it comes up and I will drag this here. I'm just going to reposition this and make it smaller. So there we go. I've positioned it over my face from the very start here, but no effects have happened just yet. What we need to do is come down here to where it says blurriness and bring it up. As you can see, it's then going to blur out that specific circle we created. So there's no right or wrong, you choose how blurry you want it. I'll just keep it like this so you'll be able to see it very clear. And now what we want to do, even though we've done that, if we come across, you can see as I'm walking, that circle staying there. So the next thing is to make your mask follow the object you want to blur out. For this, you're going to come to that mask and you're going to toggle the mask path animation. Now, what we're going to be doing, we're just going to come across on our timeline as soon as we're out of the mask, we're going to select our mask and drag this back over. So it's really simple and this is all you need to do. So you're going to be repeating this the entire time. Now there's going to be something else towards the end, so don't just click off the video just yet because there's something important to note as well. So I'm just finishing off now. You can see I'm about to walk off the screen. Um, but this is the important part. I've now walked off, but we're still going to have the blur there. So we need to get rid of this blur. And the way we're going to be doing this is pretty simple. What we're going to be doing is coming to the masking opacity and toggle the animation. So match up this frame at 100% with the very last frame on the mask path. Then come across one frame. Then where the opacity is, you can bring that down. You can see my face is still showing, so I'm actually going to zoom in a bit more and I'll drag these frames across to here. There we go. So this is now what we have created. All of these keyframes you're seeing here is the mask path, which is going to be following my face the entire time. The mask opacity, there's two frames here, one which is at 100% and then one which is at 0% uh, one frame straight after. So the blur won't just be hanging around, it will disappear and everything will look really smooth. So playing it through now, you can see it's going to be following my face, really simple. And then you'll see it will blend in. As you can see, it just goes off like that. It's not a harsh stop. It just simply goes off like that. And it's better than just keeping a blur there the entire time. But that's how simple it is to blur out moving objects in Premiere Pro. Of course, this will probably mostly be used for faces, logos, and I do recommend most of the time to stick to the ellipse tool or, of course, stick to the four-point polygon mask. In some rare cases, you may need a pen tool, but that is completely optional. 